What's up guys, Marlon back with another massive news video for you guys and girls today. So without further ado, let's jump right off into it. And we're starting off here with something quite interesting from the Bravely series Twitter account teases a new title possibly coming to the Nintendo Switch or possibly it could be some ports from the 3DS Bravely Default series there. Who knows what's going to happen. But Square Enix is running off the crux of the success of Octopath Traveler for the Nintendo Switch selling a whopping 1 million copies. Yes, that's really huge for Nintendo and Square Enix. I'm really excited to see more from this Octopath Traveler series here. Hopefully they can turn it into a series. I'm really excited about it. Really enjoyed playing the game and so let me know what you guys think about a new Bravely Default game on the Nintendo Switch possibly because the 3DS versions actually did very well so I could see a possible port or a possible brand new game altogether for the Nintendo Switch. All right guys, let's move on to the next part of the news video here. So this is quite interesting. Meet the Chinese console that's like the PS4 Pro, but with AMD's next gen CPU and a separate PC version runs your Windows games too. So that's quite interesting. So apparently AMD has collaborated with hardware manufacturer Zong Zhang Sobor, if I'm saying that correctly, to create a custom custom console hardware for the Chinese market and a first impression suggests a hardware specification similar to the PS4 Pro in terms of GPU and compute power but combined with next-gen Ryzen processing architecture new hardware set for a Chinese launch in the next month actually takes the form of a Windows PC with dedicated console using a custom OES due later out this year so that's quite interesting I don't understand why it's not coming to the west but it's cool let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below all right guys let's move on to the semi to last part of the news video here so would you pay $40 a month for an Xbox X subscription for two years well apparently there's a journalist from the verge on Twitter basically he was talking about the possibility of Microsoft coming out with a Xbox X subscription similar to what they did back in the day with the three 60 which that never really happened if I'm not mistaken but apparently this Xbox X subscription comes with two years subscription of Game Pass and Xbox Live do you think that this is a good deal I think it's a good deal I think the Xbox X is a very good investment but you just don't have enough games to actually play on there but I do think that with the two years of Game Pass and Xbox Live, I think it actually pays for itself because I believe two years worth of Game Pass adds up to $240 if I'm not mistaken. And of course you have the Xbox Live there, which is $60 a year. So that would be what, $120 and then the Xbox X, which is $500. So leave your thoughts down in the comment section down below. All right, guys, now we're moving to the last part of the news video here. So Ryzen Zero Dawn 2 could be a launch title on the PS5. According to certain rumors right now suggesting that, you know, the game came out in 2017. So they're pushing for a three year life cycle to make it for the PlayStation 5 as a launch title. I really enjoyed Horizon Zero Dawn on the PlayStation 4. Incredible game. It reminds me of Heavenly Sword a little bit and it reminds me of the Uncharted series and Tomb Raider as well. So could this possibly be a launch title for the PlayStation 5? All right guys, that ends off today's news video. If you enjoyed it, please smash a staggering 150 likes. Let me know you guys want more news videos like this moving forward. Subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. Turn on that notification bell to join the brotherhood that we have here. And peace, Switch Gang Nation. We out of here.